just what I told you. He used to be a member of the royal family. Looks like another detestable shepherd to me. The God of Israel has spoken to Moses. God says to let his people go three days journey into the wilderness to offer sacrifices. The God of Israel? Ha! Who is this God that I should obey him and let my slaves take a three day trip into the wilderness? You are only stirring up my people, causing them to stop working. I will see to it that they have more work to do. From now on, they have to provide their own straw for making bricks. Why are you treating us like this? No one brings us any straw to make bricks. You are lazy. That's why you keep asking me to let you go and sacrifice to your god. Get back to work. You won't be given straw, but you must still make the same number of bricks. All you accomplished was to double our workload. Since I have spoken in your name, it has only gotten worse. I cannot speak well, and Pharaoh will not listen to me. It is time to fulfill my promise to Abraham and bring this people into the land I promised. And you, Moses, will lead them. Aaron will do the talking. Pharaoh will not listen. But I will show signs so the Egyptians will know that I am the only true God. What are you doing back here? Again? The Lord says, let my people go. Here is a sign that God has spoken. What? A snake? <laughs> That's just a magic trick. Call our magicians. Pharaoh summoned his wise men and sorcerers, and the magicians did the same thing by their secret arts. Look! His snake is fighting out! His serpent is eating ours! It's not our serpent completely! The God of creation says, let my people go. Go back to Pharaoh in the morning, to be there as he goes down to the river. Stand beside the riverbank and meet him there, holding in your hand the rod that turned into a serpent. Jehovah says, because you refuse to let my people go, and so that you will know that I am the true God, all the waters of Egypt shall become like blood. Go get my magicians! The god of the Nile will stop this! God said that Pharaoh's heart would be hard, even though he would see great signs from the Lord. The river turned into blood, the fish died, and the river began to stink. But even with this great miracle by the hand of God, Pharaoh was not convinced. I have never in my life seen anything like this. Even the springs and ponds have turned into blood. What did he say was the name of his god? What difference does it make? We have thousands of gods. The god of the Nile must be angry. That fellow Moses says that his god is the only god. One god? <laughs> that is ridiculous. God says, let my people go so they can worship me. If you refuse, I will send hordes of frogs on the land. I will not be persuaded by your magic tricks. Seven days later, Moses again brought God's judgment on Egypt. Let the waters bring forth the frogs in abundance. Frogs! I, I've never seen so many! That has to be the hand of the Hebrew God. My house is full of frogs. All of Egypt is filled with frogs! The gods are angry! Where are our priests? Can't they do something? See? Pharaoh's magicians can make frogs as well. Why are they making more frogs? Didn't Moses give us enough? Why don't you let them go into the wilderness as they asked? We can't stand much more of this. Call Moses! Tell him I want to talk. Yes, Lord Pharaoh. As you wish. Ask your god to take away the frogs. If he will do so, I will let your people go and sacrifice. You name the time you want the frogs to die. 
and it will be so. Tomorrow morning. According to your own words, so it shall be that all may know there is no God like the Lord God. When Pharaoh saw that the frogs died at the appointed time, he hardened his heart and would not let the Hebrew people go as he said. What kind of God is this that he fills our land with frogs? What makes you think a God did it? Maybe it was just a natural phenomenon. Then how did Moses know exactly when it would happen and the exact hour they would die? And the Lord said unto Moses, Say unto Aaron, Stretch out your hand and strike the dust of the ground, that it becomes lice throughout the land of Egypt. And all the dust in Egypt turned into lice. Ah! Oh, oh. What do you mean you can't make lice? Who will think his god is more powerful than ours? Magic tricks are all you can do! But sire, surely this is the work of God. No man could do the things those two have done. We are powerless. Send word to Moses. Tell him that if his God will take away the lice, I will let the Hebrews go to worship their God. The lice are gone, but I cannot let the slaves go. When Pharaoh hardened his heart yet again, God spoke to Moses. God says, I will send swarms of flies upon Egypt. But this time I will make a difference between the Egyptians and the Hebrews. There shall be no flies among my people. By this, everyone will know that I am God of the whole earth. Why can't our priests stop this man? Where is their power? I don't know anything about religion. I just mind my own business. It is just as Moses said. There are no flies among the Hebrews. Go, find Moses. Go then and sacrifice to your God. Do not leave the land of Egypt. We must go at least three days' journey. I said you can go, but you cannot go very far. Now talk to your God and ask him to take away the flies. Again, Pharaoh hardened his heart and refused to let the people go. The Lord spoke again to Moses. Go to Pharaoh and say to him, Let my people go so that they may worship me. If you refuse to let them go and hold them back, I will send a terrible plague on your livestock in the fields. But the Lord will make a difference between the livestock of Egypt and the livestock of the Hebrews. <gasps> what is happening? Our cattle were fine yesterday. It must be the cruel hand of that troubler Moses. I hear of strange things happening in Pharaoh's court because of him. But again, Pharaoh hardened his heart. Our animals are all dead and yours are healthy! It is the God of our fathers come to deliver us from your cruel bondage. Our priests are offering sacrifices to our gods. Our sacred bull will be angry and put a stop to this! Tell Pharaoh that it is too late. All of our sacred bulls have died. The people will be angry when they learn that our gods could not protect themselves from the phantom god of the Hebrews. Where are the gods of the Egyptians? Have they no power? But Pharaoh continued to harden his heart.